Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You're a returning subscriber as always, guys. Welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, listen, this story broke yesterday and I couldn't believe it when I seen it, but I mean, there's nothing new under the sun. This story right here is coming out of South Florida. Shout out South Florida, uh, the Hialeah area, presumably. And it's about a salon owner hair salon owner that was uh, beaten and robbed by a customer's son. And the customer is the one that put it, put her son up to do this. Now, this is a standard tale of people not being able to cover their tracks. People that are too dumb to commit crimes. And also how a lot of times some women out there use their son as stunt people to do crimes for them because they're not strong enough to do it themselves or they don't want to get caught so they'll sacrifice their own children and wind up getting caught. This woman looks bad. Her son looks stupid. Together they look bad and stupid. But that's neither here nor there. It's a good thing this lady survived this but the PTSD she endured from this might make her think twice about doing stuff for the community and trying to make money for herself. Check this out. New video showing a brazen attack. A man beating a woman with a weapon outside of a South Florida business. Police say he was after what was inside her luggage. Steve Litz is live in Hialeah. And Steve, the suspect didn't act alone? Uh, no, Jackie. And investigators say the suspect acted with his mother in this one. The Champagne Nail Store behind me, it doubles as a jewelry stop also, uh, Jackie. And so surveillance video previous released in connection to this crime shows the suspects, the mother and her son, racing away from the scene here. This new surveillance video shows how this crime started with a man beating a woman and investigators say his mother was the getaway driver. It's video of a violent crime in progress. Watch the top right. The red SUV with the back open. The woman loading items is suddenly attacked, beaten with a handgun as she refuses to let go of her luggage, which turns out to be loaded with valuable jewelry. Unette Sanchez, who does not want to be seen on TV, showed us her injuries to her head, her hand, also her neck. She owns champagne nails in Hialeah and also sells jewelry. Police say the mother-son team of Julian Flores and Lourdes Diaz attacked Sanchez outside her store last month. Can I get can I get a call to my mom or something, please? I think you can make collect calls at the jail. Police say Flores assaulted the woman, his mother, the getaway driver. Look at the top of the screen. The duo in that white SUV backing out of a parking space. The son jumps out and assaults Sanchez, say police. This angle shows him jumping back into the SUV with Sanchez's luggage and his mother driving off. This mother-son duo planned this crime for over a month in advance to where the mother befriended the victim. In the weeks leading up to the crime, Diaz started going to the salon several times a week for services. The owner says she looked at the jewelry, too. According to investigators, the suspects used rental vehicles, first to case the shopping center, then to commit the crime. The mother and son are in jail tonight, both held on no bond. Investigators say Flores posted on social media a picture of him holding a gun with a ring that investigators say was stolen in that crime. They also say he fired one shot into the air while he was attacking that woman, and that uh, caused her to release her grip on that piece of luggage. Again, both the mother and son are in jail on no bond facing serious felony charges. Live in Hialeah tonight, I'm Steve Litz, NBC6 News. Guys, that's the uh, video, and that shows right there you can't trust anybody. And that's the thing, you know. People do these crimes and they don't realize that this messes up the community and then people move out and stores move away and all of this and they don't have nothing in their neighborhoods. They get upset. When they the real cause of the problem a lot of time with the crime rate and all this other stuff and not having respect for somebody's business. And I'm going to tell you something. It's amazing to me how this woman who wanted this stuff in case the joint went and got her son to do it and he went along with it. I wish my mom would come up to me like, yo, I want you to rob this lady real quick. Me and you would split the money. Now, they messed themselves up. They in jail with no bond. Bust that lady's head up. You see all of those uh, marks on her? I'm sure she got a husband. 
I'm sure she probably got kids his age. If it was up to me, I'll let the family tear him apart and make the mom watch. As soon as the tear drop out her eye, I'd knock both of them out of face. For real, this type of stuff right here where they don't have no respect for anybody. Me, myself, as a business owner, I would be upset, irate if somebody did something like that to me. You know how hard it is, guys, to pay rent on a commercial brick and mortar store? She's selling jewelry, trying to, you know, make up the difference and all this other stuff. That place right there is a nail shop. Got employees and they be embarrassed and beat up like that outside by a stranger. I don't understand it. I don't understand this whole damn thing. They need to take him and his mom and take him outside and put him in the coffin and bury him alive. They should. This is goofy stuff, man. Man, what kind of mother are you that you'll put your son in that type of danger? What if she was packing and just blasted him right there while you was back in the car up and standing there? Then y'all using rental cars to do this stuff like y'all couldn't get tracked. You want to go do a crime to steal jewelry and don't even have your own damn car. Go figure that. Go figure that. This woman, Lords Diaz. 55 years old, not here trying to rob people. Get a 24-year-old boy, rest of his life ahead of him, Julian Flores. Now you done got him in prison. You along with him. I hope this lady makes a, uh, a smooth recovery. But I'm going to tell you something, man. This type of PTSD that people go through just minding their business and having this happen to her, long healing process, both physical and definitely, definitely mentally. Because, I mean, every time she comes out of her store or goes to unlock the door to let the employees in, she got to look over her shoulder because a normal experience of opening a door to a place that feeds you and your family. Now, all of a sudden, you got to look behind your, your back and you got problems, you know, because this is where trauma had happened to you. Nobody ever thinks about that. He taking a picture with a gun with the ring on. One of the stolen rings. I chop all his fingers off. For real. This is. So I'm in court. Hey, please. Hey, can, I, can I have a phone call to my mama? Yeah, your mom. Yeah, your mom. You ain't got to call it for your mom. Here she is right here. I'd open the door. She'd be in pieces like the cartels do. Seriously. Acts like this against just normal, hardworking people. It's abysmal. It is. That lady didn't deserve that. Now he gets to get locked up. She's locked up. People are paying taxes to feed him. They'll get jail time. That don't change nothing. This lady, 55 years old with evil in her heart. It'll always be there. So why not knock it out of her chest or carve it out? And it sounds graphic what I'm be saying, but you know what I'm saying? Like some of these people don't want to be here and they show it every day. Every day. I'd put them on a boat and then set it on fire. I'd bl blast it with a battleship or something. I'd deep six them. You can't you, you can't function on top of the uh, earth. Maybe you can function under the sea. Go down there and rob them people in Atlantis or whatever. If some of y'all are into that type of conspiracy stuff. But you know what I'm saying? I'm like tired of victims getting victimized. People just getting victimized. Just mind their own business. Then he ain't know how to rob her right. See how long it took him to get the bag from her? Then he had to fire a gun in the air to scare her. You couldn't even disarm a woman? Come on, you was way bigger than her? Man, come on. I'm done. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. The live stream is tonight at 7 o'clock. We're going to tear it up like we always do. So get ready to laugh after I do all these depressing stories during the week. See you in the next video. Take care.